I bought a roll of cork for making a cork board. I just need to glue that to a sheet of plywood somehow. And I was thinking of using contact cement for that and I did some tests. The problem is the cork and the wood are both very absorbent so I need a lot of it and it gets quite stinky. I also tried a sample with wood glue which works fine with just light clamping. But how to clamp it evenly over such a large area? Maybe I can rig up some vacuum bagging setup using just a piece of polyethylene on my workbench and a shop vac to suck it. So this bathroom scale now reads 20 kilograms or about 45 pounds. And that's not even trying to seal it up. And with a rudimentary effort at getting a seal, I'm at almost 120 pounds. 150 pounds. Oh, that's pretty good. And with this blower that's much quieter, I get almost as much. And now for extra suction, I'm going to put the hose from the vacuum on here and turn that on. So this has gone almost all the way around. 110 kilograms, 240 pounds. So that's effectively uh, 24 of these 10 pound barbells stacked onto every area of this size. I think that will do. Between those two, I'm sucking about one eighth of an atmosphere. I think wood glue is a lot more forgiving than contact cement, but I'm still kind of nervous because I only have one chance to get this right. I'll leave that shop back on for a few minutes to make sure everything is touching and then I'll just leave the smaller blower running for an hour. A uh, problem I'm running into is this plastic foil really seals against everything and with just a tiny bit of leakage all around the edges I have actually quite a bit less vacuum here than I do here. I just unvacuumed it for a sec and added these bits here to form sort of a channel underneath the plywood to spread that vacuum a little bit better. That bonded well, but that plywood is as non-flat as it was before. So I'll make some battens to glue along the back of it. I was having a hard time getting that fence at the right angle with that wood slicer blade until I realized that blade likes to follow the grain of the wood, so there is no right angle. With the vacuum thing already set up, I might as well use that to clamp the battens on the back too. This stick here has got a hollow channel on the bottom to help spread the vacuum around, plus with the uh, gap around the uh, cork on the other side, and these little fillets here, I've got much better vacuum distribution than I did before. With the battens on, it's not completely flat, but flat enough for a corkboard. I still need some trim to go around the edges, which I'm going to make out of these pieces that I've just milled. And to cut a slot for the plywood, I've got uh, three saw blades stacked in my table saw. I used the same roundover bit to do all four edges of this trim and now I'll varnish it before gluing it on so I don't get any varnish on the corkboard.